the Horror Hour. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Horror Hour. We discuss, debate, and disagree on all things horror. My name is Yusuf, and today I'm going to be reviewing A24's brand new horror film, Men, directed by Alex Garland and starring Jesse Buckley and Rory Kinnear. In the aftermath of a personal tragedy, Harper retreats alone to the beautiful English countryside, hoping to have found a place to heal. But someone or something from the surrounding woods appears to be stalking her. What begins a simmering dread becomes a fully formed nightmare inhabited by her darkest memories and fears in visionary filmmaker Alex Garland's feverish and shape-shifting new horror film. (laughs) <laughs> they sent me a French synopsis too. Frappé pour rajouter personnel à peur. No, I'm not going to do it. I sounded like Hercule Poirot. Um, the movie hits theaters on May 20th, and I believe that tickets for Thursday night showings are on sale now. And I think you should get them. I really do. Um, yeah, I love this movie. I gotta say, I was really, really excited to see this movie. I'm a huge Alex Garland fan. I love Ex Machina. I love Annihilation. And I've been on a real Jesse Buckley high recently. Um, I loved her in The Lost Daughter, where she was nominated for an Oscar. I loved I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Um, and so as soon as I found out that this was a VVS film, uh, after I saw X, who's VVS distributes this in Canada, if you don't know, uh, I emailed the, the studio rep and was like, hey, bestie, can I see this movie? And she was like, yes here you go um and actually i was moving to vancouver a day before the screening and so she gave me a a a vancouver screening and so i literally landed fell asleep and then you know woke up at nine in the morning to or ten in the morning to to see it this morning and i gotta say it was worth it um where i want to start though is the synopsis is very interesting because what begins a simmering dread becomes a fully formed nightmare is how i would describe the movie um, so it's, I, I kind of laughed when I read that because I was like, that's perfect. Um, the first two thirds of the movie, I'd say are, I wouldn't say weak. I'd say weak is a strong word. I'd say they are very, it's very much what you would expect an indie or, or imagine an indie horror film to be like in that, or not a ho- indie horror film, an indie film in general to be like where it's, although it's beautifully shot and like the score is incredible and the acting, don't even get me started, is just like very like just top notch um it's extremely slow like really 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 slow and i think what kind of adds to the slowness and and the poor pacing is the fact that alex garland tends to have this um tendency to pose a lot of questions and not answer any of them like he'll just he'll he'll ask a bunch of questions and then leave you there sitting confused and so i found myself for the first two thirds sitting there being like i don't know what's happening it's going extremely slowly, so my mind's just going to wander and pay attention to other things. And to give the movie the benefit of the doubt, maybe it was just because I moved here, but with with all the other reviews that I've read as well, I feel like the first two-thirds of the movie are a little bit of a slog to get to. However, however, the last third of the movie is fucking cra- It is nuts, so It is so, so, so crazy. I thought the movie was going to end, and then it just goes on this detour and i'm like what is happening the movie gets crazy it gets horrific it is very gory it is very nuts it is it had it is filled with so many like classic horror elements and what i feel like will become classic horror moments when we look back at this film and be like oh my god look at what alex garland delivered um I think when people walk out of the movie, they are going to feel something. Like, like no one is going to walk into this movie and walk out of it feeling like they wasted their time or like they were bored or whatever. I think they're going to walk out of the movie feeling an emotion, like a very visceral emotion, because this movie will 100% have an impact on people. And I, the, the flip side of that is I feel like this movie is going to be very divisive. I'm already seeing that a little bit in some of the reviews that I've read on Letterboxd, where some people loved it and some people hate it. And I think that's gonna, it's going to be one of those movies. And I think something that I would kind of caution Alex Garland is I think a lot of people are going to disagree on what this movie is about. Because, because the movie has such strong metaphors and such, like, just such, such visceral... Um, graphic visuals that you will not forget, but
but the thing that it doesn't really have is a storyline. Like you, like I walked out of the film and I still didn't know what was happening. I was like, I had a good time. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but something happened, and I feel a certain way about it. Um, and I feel like some people are not going to react in a, in a in a good way. I I saw somebody. I feel like a lot of people are going to project their own kind of meaning on the film. And I, I saw a review describe this film as a Rorschach test, and I feel like that's the perfect way to describe men. I think the first two thirds are going to be incredible to watch, but I would recommend this to everybody because I think it is an incredible horror. I mean, if, you like, if you're watching this channel, you like horror. And if you like horror, you're going to love this movie because the first two thirds, although slow again, are just beautiful and the score throughout the film is just gorgeous like i definitely want to download the score um and if you like Al alex garland's previous films you're really gonna like this one i think like just the 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 the, the moments in in the third in the third act like are just, mwah, are just mwah, and they're just so good and um the performances as well i mean really the cast is a very very tight cast it's about three or four people and and everybody pulls their weight. Jessie Buckley is absolutely phenomenal. She she proves in this movie why she was nominated for an Oscar and why she should have won. I forgot who she was nominated up against, but oh, Ariana DeBose. Never mind. But like, she's definitely an Oscar winner in the making. She was phenomenal in this film. And Rory Kinnear. I don't know what I've seen Rory Kinnear in. I've definitely seen him in something, or maybe like, but um. He was phenomenal in this movie. Like, the range that this man has is absolutely incredible. And I feel like Alex Garland knows how to get a performance out of his actors. And just seeing that is a beautiful thing. So if you're a fan of horror, or if you're a fan of filmmaking, there's so much that you are going to love in this movie. And even if you're not, or you know someone who's not, I think it's going to be extremely fun to, to take a group of people to see men and just have a debate about what it means and, and what and what to do about it and, and stuff like that. So um, overall, I'd give the movie an 8 out of 10. Um, had the movie kind of answered some of the questions and been a little bit, not even, I wouldn't say fast-paced, but just a little, just giving you a little bit more in the first two-thirds, I think this would have been a phenomenal film. And in terms of where I would rank it with Alex Garland's other films, I, ha I haven't seen Annihilation and Ex Machina in quite a long time, but I remember liking those movies far more, not far more, but I remember liking those movies more than I liked Men, but take that with a grain of salt because I haven't seen those movies in a long time. So 8 out of 10, the movie hits theaters on May 20th, so be sure to see it. And be sure to subscribe to this channel. We have a podcast. We have all this stuff. So check it out. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. You have been listening to the Horror Hour. See you next time.